So, we just got out of the con the Condolite. <laughs> the Condolite Candlelight um, concert. Um, let's see. Oh, can I turn this thing? I can't turn it. But at the St. Rogers Depot in. Um, um, it's the really cool venue that y'all see right past those lights. Those on the bottom. Um, it is an absolutely gorgeous venue. Oh, I'm like, it's breathtaking to me. It has such an old style feel, but with modern like kisses. I don't even know. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm like, um, self. What kind of event are we going to do <laughs> here? But <clears throat> it's probably expensive. Um, so to get to the point of it, the cellist Alejandro of Four Bridges <clears throat> String Quartet got in touch with us and was so incredibly um, gracious. Gracious? Is that the right word? <laughs> Sorry guys, they have a bar here, and I just had a drink, and I don't drink very much anymore, and um, works. <laughs> so, hi, hi guys, hi everybody, any, yes, hi, oh you're here, Four Bridges is here, wow. y'all, I am, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you, thank, thank you. you. 
yes i it was incredible um the ambiance was so special the playing you guys the playing of these four individuals is absolutely exquisite i'm i'm telling you exquisite it is one of the most pure clean gorgeous sounds that you can hear oh yeah degrees. we have music degrees both of us so we know what we're talking about it's not just like oh yes it was lovely no it's like <clears throat> it's good it's all you need to go out and check them out um the prices range i believe from like 35 dollars to 65 45 45 to 65 and it is well worth every penny there was some guy in front of us that uh <laughs> Okay, hold on. So going going back, Alejandro. <clears throat> Sal was going to be like, "Hi, I'm Sal." That was me yelling in the back. <laughs> it was the the guy singing or whatever. Did you like my singing? That's he was gonna ask, "Did you like my singing?" And it was not Sal. Uh, hi. Yeah, he was right in front of us. He was cool though. I mean, it was pretty fun. Um, ah, the moon looks amazing. I flip this. Y'all gotta see this. You're all trapped inside. Check this. Oh, get a ton of traffic. Oh, oh. Oh, the white is Oh man, it's hard to see the moon. Yeah. That. <laughs> that's a light. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. Woo! Look at that. She's beautiful today. Anyway, um, you have got to go and hear Four Bridges. They're doing several different concerts. It's not just Queen. Queen is today and tomorrow. No? It's just today? today? Yeah. Oh, man. Two but shows today. Like, you guys have already recycled, I think. Like, they, they, they've already done this, I think, this is the second time. So, like, I, I know I've seen the, the list of, like, <clears throat> I don't feel like I missed, but unless you guys are going to start switching out and leaving others out or whatever. They're doing the Hans Zimmer one. They're I want to go and hear their classical Vivaldi. Um, the Four Seasons, Winter is my jam. My jam. Oh, I just adore that song. <clears throat> so, to to hear them again, they are gorgeous. They are beautiful people. Like they're just so sweet, all of them. Um, <clears throat> We were really fortunate that the um, the person who runs the actual candlelight in El Paso was there and she was, um, <clears throat> oh, Vivaldi and Hans Zimmer. Yes, oh my God. Those are both really exciting. Yeah. Um, what, do you, what do you have to say? I liked that, well, at first <laughs> I had a, uh, slight issues with the El Paso crowd because it's like <laughs> still like I guess I'm used to the, the, the usual classical setting and being pop songs I understand that you know it's gonna have a little more audience participation and, and that was cool I, I did I did I like that but just the way some people participated is is it is my favorite but uh, either way it, it, it didn't it didn't take me like uh, out of the experience a whole lot. I still, I still really, still really enjoyed it. And um, but yeah, it was actually pretty fun to, to hear everyone start to participate. It is, is it, it is a good bridge between typical classical and sure. uh, and the pop. Like you, it, it is a good balance where people start like clapping along or singing along or whatever. And so it was fun. Um, <clears throat> Four Bridges says thank you so much for coming. So glad you liked it. No. Again, on the contrary, thank you guys so much for having us. We really appreciated it and enjoyed it. Yeah, and Queen, Queen can. Queen doesn't disappoint. Yeah, and you guys didn't disappoint, like, that. That could not have been easy, either. Like, their music is complex. There's just a lot. Yeah, There's a, a lot of moving pieces of... in those in those songs, and it was... Very, very well done. It was beautiful. This was uh, this 
was a good one to have like a like the I guess how melodic it is it fits in very well with the with the classical stuff and just the the harmonies and stuff it was it was awesome. I agree. <laughs> it was so fun. Um, you know what I what I realized is how many people only know <laughs> <laughs> like chunks of lyrics. Um, okay, so like. I guess everybody knew Bohemian Rhapsody, but then like you get like Radio Gaga and or uh, Mr. Fahrenheit. What, I don't even know the uh, name, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Again, again, we forget. Don't stop me now. Oh yeah, don't stop me now. So you'll have like, uh, 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 don't stop me now, and <laughs> it was just kind of funny. And then it was kind of fun listening to all of the people because, um, well, <laughs> of course nobody's trained, right? Hey, you're supposed to go that way. <laughs> All right. So, um, ooh, there's a lot of cops around. I wonder what's going on. There was an accident going that way or something. Oh, yeah, oh. this was blocked from earlier. Remember? Weird. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it was fantastic. People in El Paso. I know we have a lot of followers that are out-of-towners. Out-of-towners and local people. This is such a beautiful date night. The venue, like I was saying, is incredible. They have two full bars. Um, the bathrooms are really nice and clean. Like the whole venue is just gorgeous. They're very prompt with their seating. They're, it was great. There was a wonderful experience. Uh, and I think there's a good amount of time for like the, the, the attention, attention span. span of El Paso, is that, especially for something like this it wasn't too long it wasn't too too short it was where people, yeah where people would be like oh it wasn't worth 45 bucks or blah 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 no no and uh it wasn't too long where they're like sitting and starting to get antsy or whatever it was it's a perfect length so it was it's like 10 out of 10 for sure need to check it out snacks would be fun because i'm hungry but I totally get it because there's a big mess at the end. I kind of think that maybe that would be beneficial is like take your cup with you and drop it off like as you're gonna <laughs> as you're gonna exit because there's a whole bunch of stuff on the floor and all of these people are having to clean up after the patrons who had just gone. Um, you know, so like little drink trays or something that you can put everything on so they don't have to pick up would be really cool. Um, I, I, it's wow, y'all, the, ooh, all right there. And the venue, too, is really, the venue is really nice. It's, uh, yeah, like you had said, like, old school but modern and mm -hmm. right next to the freeway, like, full view, as you can, full view of downtown on the other side. It's, it's really nice. Like, there, there's plenty of parking, too. I was, lots I'm, of parking. I'm always concerned about parking, and there was, there's plenty of parking. Um, for women that are going to wear heels to this event, uh, the asphalt is a little bit rocky, but it's still very manageable. Um, the, the one thing that I had noticed on the website is it didn't really say like attire, but it pretty much is concert attire. Like there were some people that were extremely dressed up in formals and it was really pretty. They all, everybody looked really nice. And then you also had some people in jeans and a nice shirt. Um, so it's pretty much like what you would wear to the plaza, right? Yeah, like the, 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 the semi-formal slacks, nice shoes, button-up shirt. Uh -huh. I think works really nice, and like you said, like for an eight night. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was beautiful. I really don't have enough. I, I have too many good things to say. There's. Um, Yeah, very picturesque. Like it would make great for great photos for for social media. You can post stuff, make your friends jealous. Like, whoa, you went there. <laughs> it already happened. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I love you all, and please go and check it out. Um, that's all. I I have nothing else to say. It was really cool. If y'all go, let us know. Um, let us know what you think about it. I'm curious to hear. Um, beautiful did 
you know that they turn on every freaking candle in there? I think she said there were over 3,000 candles. And they turn them on one by one. It's insanity. That was so she also told me. So the lady who was hosting it was, was really cool. Her name is Christina. She was telling me that that building has tried to burn down three times. <laughs> and it hasn't burned down. It's all still intact. Uh, yeah. And um, she was also saying that this is a fun fact that it is from the 1800s and the very first settlers in El Paso who came by train were actually dropped off at that very depot. So, I mean, you're literally walking through the history. If you're a history buff in El Paso, please fill us in if we're missing something or the information is askew. But from what we know, yeah, it's amazing. It was that was funny after she said the burning down fact that well the candles are the little fake candles they're not all spoiler alert have, yeah well if you haven't seen those candles anyway because we have some at home too they're pretty realistic looking they look they look really cool like the way they they flicker and move and the glow is, is very much like a realistic one so you're not it's not like it's really taking away from the from the experience but it looks Look really cool still, but much safer, I guess. Like, yeah, oh, that's not worth <laughs> burning this place down a fourth time. <laughs> there was this lady that had this like super flowy, beautiful gown on, and I was like, Why? I thought she was gonna light on fire because she walked right next to the candle. So, I am very grateful that those are all um, not real, would have been disastrous to see. All right, all I'm, right. I'm, I'm done with my words. Same. All right, bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you again, Alejandro. Bye.